Hi, Crafty Planner. Welcome to my channel. I'm Tina, and today I'm going to be planning out the week from the 11th through the 17th of May. And I have a lot of different things here that I wanna share with you that I'm going to be using to do this spread. Who here has a lot of washi? Me, me, yep, I have a lot of washi. And who here hardly uses their washi? Um, me, me, yeah. So I really am like, I need to use my washi because I love it, it's beautiful, and I'm gonna pull it out and I'm gonna use it this week. So I pulled out some washi here, and this is from the Wrong Wrong Collection, and with the exception of this one, but all of these, I believe, are all from the Wrong Wrong. And this one I'm gonna be using for something, which I'll share with you in a moment. And um, this case is just here because I just wanted to show it to you, it's really cute. I got it at Hobby Lobby. Um, a little bit while back um, when you could actually go into Hobby Lobby because where I am at, you can't go in any of the craft stores or any of the stores because of the whole, you know, quarantine. But um, yeah, it's really cute. I like to keep pens in here. Some of like um, certain pens that I like to use on a regular basis. And you can use this really for anything. You can put any of your planning supplies in that little pouch. It's just adorable. So I just wanted to share that with you because I am going to be using some wrong, wrong stickers in this week's spread. And I thought I would just share that with you. All right, so I'm gonna put these washi to the side here. And then I'm also pulled out some of these journaling cards. Now I have never used these. And again, another thing that I picked up because it's super cute and I love all things wrong, wrong. So of course, when they came out with the whole like wrong, wrong collaboration, I picked these up also, but I've not used any of them. So I wanna give it a try. So I pulled out this sheets and then I am also going to be using some of these girls in here. Really, really cute. And then some of the possibly checklists that come in these books here. And then because I am going to be doing something completely different, I am going to be using my paper, extra paper. So this paper I think came from, I'm not sure what collection this came from. Maybe Miss Maker, because of like, it's got the washi here, but um, yeah. So I'm gonna be using this paper and I'm going to be creating the week, um, the weekly spread on here. So I'm going to be needing um, dates. So I'm gonna be using the dates and holidays. I'm gonna be using, I haven't quite decided what um, days of the week I'm gonna be using, but I did pull some journaling sticker books out and I also pulled out an alphabet sticker. So we'll see what I end up actually using from those sticker books, but I think I have everything that I need to create this. So I'm gonna put all of that to the side. All right, so the first thing that I need to do is set up my um, lines to separate the days of the week. And I'm going to be doing a horizontal spread with the, this particular week, just because they're already lined in there and I just have to like create like the solid lines for the days of the week. Now, I already actually did that. So that's already prepped and ready to go because that would have taken a little bit of time and I did not wanna bore you with that. So I went ahead and already prepped these two pages here for that and it worked out perfectly. It was like I counted down and then that I was able to count seven lines. So every seventh line, I was able to add the washi and I added it to like the top of it. So then that way the line would not be coming through. If you are particular the way that I am and you don't want the line to like come through, then rather than like white it out, just like kind of like line it up on the top of it. So it might show through a little bit, but it's definitely not obvious to me. Okay, so now the next step is I want to add the dates in here. So for the rest of the video, I decided that I would speed things up because it does get a little tedious with laying down all of the days of the week and the um, date dots. And then I move on to the washi that I had uh, decided to use in here. So these days of the week, I did get them from one of the journaling books. It was one of the accessory journaling books where it has like a variety of stickers and um, sticky notes and then some uh, cards in there. So that's like, it's almost like three options in you know one pack type of accessory book. 
and I decided to go with this one. I originally wanted something a little bit smaller, but I wanted something that was colored, and the only smaller ones that I had were just like with black coloring font. And I liked this one with the pink, and it had the gold, um, it's like a double lettering, so the, there's gold foil, and then there's the pink coloring, and it's like, like, kind of like layered on top of one or the other. And then these date dots are a little bit on the larger side, but it was a good scale for the days of the week because the other date dots that I had were much smaller and it just looked a little strange. And I do still need to add in May at the top page here, but I decided to hold off on that and do that at the ends once I sort of uh, figure out, you know, what I really wanted to do and what was going to match best. So now here I am moving on to using the washi and I have this really cute washi, it's wrong wrong so it has her um, girls illustrated on there and it's really really cute. And honestly the only way to lay this washi down is vertical because otherwise you know the girls are like laying down so it would look strange. So I thought by putting it here in the center down like the spine part that that would be really cute. Now this particular spread, I did not do any planning. It's kind of like I was sitting in my office and I had this paper and I thought, oh, you know what, this would really make a cute like, kind of washi themed spread. So I think I'm gonna do that. So I just started looking through my washi and I thought, well, you know, I haven't used the wrong, wrong stickers in a while. So you know what, I'm gonna pull that out and I'm just gonna kind of pull that all together. And I thought, well, I kind of want the washi like coming off of the page. No particular like layout or order or anything like that. So I was just sort of kind of, I was winging it. I mean, totally winging this and completely not something that I usually do because I very much like a planner with everything. Um, you know, I do like to use my wax paper and you're not going to see any wax paper in this plan with me at all. I just, you know, am laying things down and sort of kind of going with it and seeing where it takes me. Now the colors that are part of this particular collection was the pink with that blue and then of course like the wrong wrong illustration there is that stripe in there and then there's that flex of the gold foil so that was another reason why I decided to go with those days of the week because they did have the gold foil in them I didn't want it to be like all gold foil for the days of the week so that's why I decided to go that route and here again I'm just sort of like playing with the washi I kind of had an idea of what I wanted it to look like but I don't know about you but that's the reason why I like to do a lot of pre-planning because lots of times the way that I see things in my mind and then once I start laying things down you know it sometimes doesn't always like go together I'm sure I'm not the only one that has experienced that. I think at one point I was almost like, hmm, I don't know. Because these colors and this like type of styling um, is definitely like out of my comfort zone. It's something that I wouldn't normally do. But you know what? I'm like, I'm just going to experiment. I'm going to play with the washi and see how it turns out. So I think originally I thought I wanted to put more washi in through the sides, but as I was laying it down, I'm like, that's going to be really, really busy looking. So I just decided to skip days. And then on the other side here, I'm just putting it like kind of on the alternating day. So even though like technically 
if I were to skip Thursday, I would be putting it on Friday and then on Sunday, but I thought it was going to be like too mirrored from, you know, the one first half of the week into the second half of the week. So I just decided to stagger it like this. I just thought it looked a little bit more balanced this way. Those shoes are so cute. I love all of the different shoes on there. I think this is the first time I'm actually using this washi. Like I said, I have so much washi and I never seem to pull it out. At one point I used to use it a lot. And I think, you know, when you are doing a lot of planning and you have so much stuff to work with, I feel like I go through phases and I don't know, do you feel the same way? I know that that's exactly how I feel. So now I'm pulling out the wrong, wrong girls and I thought she was really cute cause she's kind of like leaning against that side of the paper and I really liked her there. I wasn't really paying attention to what necessarily the girls were wearing, but um, yeah, I just was looking more at the colors. So now here I'm pulling in that journaling sticker and I never used these before and I put it down and I decided to move it. Um, it came up pretty easily. I mean, it did bring up my washi, but that was an easy fix. But um, yeah, I thought for sure by pulling it back up, it was going to give me some problems, but it actually did not. So I was pretty happy with that. Now these open up, so that one went down really crooked. So I had to take it off again and reposition it. So if you are using these journaling stickers, my suggestion is to open it up like I'm doing here, then that way you can kind of line it up. I don't know if it's like fold it a little bit like off but um, you know I thought I had laid it down straight the first time and here I was just contemplating well what girl am I going to use over on this side and I decided to go with something that was a little bit more color coordinated so this one right here I thought she was really cute as I was saying a little bit ago I wasn't really paying attention to what the girls were wearing as opposed to like the colors that they were wearing. But now that I look at it, it's kind of funny because they're more like dressed for fall and we are headed into spring or we are in spring. So I, that's kind of funny, but anyway, that's, that's sort of what I'm noticing right now. But now here I realize that this is just a little too busy for me. Um, yeah, just like way too much stuff was going on here and I decided I needed to remove this washi because it just looked a little too busy. So that's what I am doing here. I am taking the adorable washi off and I'm hoping to use it somewhere soon. But um, unfortunately, it just, it, I wasn't feeling it. I was like, something about this is bothering me so I just decided to take it all off so bye bye and that I think is a much much better it's not so busy so now I'm adding in these checklists and I did get these from the uh, the everyday wrong wrong book the classic size the like regular one I just thought it added a little bit of separation from, you know, anything I need to write down for the week. And then, of course, I love my checklists, so. There's certain things that I really like to have in my planner, and checklists are definitely one of those things. 
So if this is the first time that you are stopping by my channel, thank you so much for joining me today. Please consider subscribing. Um, be sure to hit that notification bell. That way you are notified when I put out my content. And I do put videos out every Saturday evening. And then I will occasionally put out a video in the middle of the week. So I'm definitely much happier with the way that this is turning out now. It's funny how just like something so simple can, I don't know, it just like helps if you take it out or add it, so. Now here I am just looking for some flags because I wanted to put a couple of more stickers down, just a couple here. So I've got this uh, Today I Think sticker um, the flag and then I'm looking for some other ones to match this spread definitely has like a lot of white space which is great because then that way I can write in everything that I need to do for the week now of course I don't have any like appointments or any set schedules we, you know, we're still in quarantine here, but of course I still have things that I need to do at my home or for my parents because I do a lot for them. And then down here in the notes section, I decided to add some washi coming in through here because it needed to be a little bit more balanced out and I thought I would lay down a couple of washies and then I will add a today flag on top of that. Or a get it done. I don't know why I thought it was a today flag. <laughs> A get it done flag there we go which makes more sense in the notes section anyway but now here I am with my gold letters and I'm going to put down May in this like block letter font I decided to use a little bit heavier font and that's from the alphabet sticker book and that is actually um, the first alphabet sticker book because they recently came out with another one and that one I have not seen yet but it might be nice to pick that one up at some point also so now here I remember that there was these really cute like deco shoes and I thought it would be kind of cute to add um, a shoe in here so I just decided to grab this like little red pump and put that one in here all right so here I'm just adding one more sticker here this flag that says living the, the dream I just thought that that was cute for Sunday and I hope that you like the way this turned out. I know I had some doubt about it and it's really cute. I definitely got out of my comfort zone, used some things that I hardly ever use and put something together that I wouldn't normally put together. But I do really like the way that it turned out. Again, something just a little bit different. So, you know, I encourage you to maybe get out of your comfort zone of however you um, plan things out, try something different. You know, it's just one week and see how it goes. So um, I do like it and I will probably be posting like an after the pen of this particular week so you can see how it looks filled in. And be sure to follow me on Instagram at It's a Wonderful Plan and that way you can see that there. And please be sure to subscribe to me here on my YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell, that way you won't miss any of my videos. And I will see you next time. Thanks so much for joining me today. Bye.